how they take my baby, y'all. How they take my baby. <laughs> Welcome to a new episode of Crime Woods. Your support is greatly appreciated, so please remember to like and share this video to help us spread these real-life stories. If you enjoy our content, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment below. Now let's dive into the featured story. On October 8, 2023, police were called to a scene near Julia Street and Our Avenue in Milwaukee. Upon arrival, the authorities discovered the lifeless body of a 25-year-old trans woman lying in the street. She had been shot multiple times, with police suspecting that the incident occurred around 7.45 that morning. The family of a transgender woman killed in a shooting on Milwaukee's northwest side over the weekend has identified her as China Long. The shooting happened at 89th and Dogwood Street around 7.45 Sunday morning. Long's family is holding a balloon release tonight in her memory. This is a live look. Police say they are still looking for the shooter. China was described as vibrant, unapologetic, and someone who brought joy into the lives of everyone who knew her. Unfortunately, that joy was taken from this world way too soon. Well, the rain did not stop a Milwaukee family from honoring the life of a transgender woman who was killed over the weekend in a shooting on the city's northwest side. Family identified the victim as 30-year-old China Long. They shared memories tonight with TMJ4's Marion McCarr. She was definitely the life of the party. Family and friends huddled under hoods and umbrellas to honor the light that was China Long. And to know this happened to her, they truly don't understand what they've done to our family. You know, they, they took a piece of our joy. She's the fourth transgender woman killed in Milwaukee the past year. As her family waits for answers, her aunt Alyssa Davenport says enough is enough. You try to be strong and, you know, in the senseless murders for whatever reason. You know, we're tired of it. We've been living in Milwaukee all our lives and it's, we're tired. The passing of China has really taken a toll on her family as death has become the norm for them. Father, Jonathan Long, says there are a lot of things that make her special, but the first thing that comes to mind... She loved to dance. She is a choreographer. That's what she... Since 18 years old, she, kids came to the house, girls by the droves, and she would teach them dancing. Loved ones there Thursday calling her the life of the party and someone who was so proud to be themselves. And once she became into who she wanted to be, which was China, you know, she lived in that, and she... Every day she lived to be China, and she was happy. For China's 14-year-old brother, the loss is still hard to accept. She used to, like, cheer me up, bro. It don't feel real to me that, like, I lost, like, people at the age that I am right now. Through raindrops and tears. We are thankful for the life of China. The group calling for justice. And her family? She was a great person. It's 2023. It's normal. Like, love people for who they are. Asking for change. In Milwaukee. China's father, Jonathan Long, lost his younger daughter by way of drowning when she was two years old. China's mother died in her sleep at 38 years old, and Jonathan's brother also died recently. China had been visiting her father in Milwaukee as a source of comfort after the passing of his brother when she was fatally wounded. What makes her death so impactful is that she is one of four black trans women who had been murdered in Milwaukee since 2022. Cass A. Henderson, whom we featured on Crime Woods, Brazil Johnson, and Regina Allen all fell victim to the same fate, being murdered simply for existing, which is absolute insanity. Like so many of these cases, the perpetrator usually escapes the hands of justice and members of the local LGBT community in Milwaukee, as well as China's family, feared that this would be the case with China. Back here at home now tonight, the family of a trans woman murdered this past weekend is pleading with our community for awareness. And CBS 58's Yukari Nakayama has more on how they hope sharing their tragic story will make a difference. Family described China Long as a vivacious person who was loved by many. China's father speaking out tonight to bring awareness of the violence targeted at the trans community in hopes of preventing more deaths. She was a great person and, and the world missed out. 30-year-old China Long was a dance teacher, a hairdresser, a sister, a daughter, 
and a friend. Her father, Jonathan Long, can't help but smile when describing his daughter. Outgoing, charismatic, exuberant dancer. Police say the 30-year-old trans woman was found shot to death on Sunday morning near 89th and Dogwood. Her family says she was in Milwaukee visiting from Chicago. China didn't deserve that at all. We were all under the assumption she was going back home. What made her stay? Why she stayed? We don't have any of those answers. Trans activist El Halo says in the last couple years, she's known at least seven trans people that were murdered, and there could be more. Trans murders are regularly underreported, misgendered, dead named, and that contributes to how we are able to pursue justice for those people. Halo believes violence against the transgender community could increase after the Wisconsin Assembly passed bills restricting trans people from medical treatment and participating in school sports teams. The legislation and the negative media that trans folks receive makes it okay for us to be killed in the streets and in our homes. I stand with them because my son slash daughter was a big part of that community and they loved her. Long says what's been getting their family through this hard time is all the support and sweet messages he's been getting from strangers. We just want to bring awareness so it don't happen again. However, police quickly found a suspect. More breaking news here at four, an arrest in the shooting death of a trans woman in Milwaukee. Police say they arrested a 29-year-old man in connection to the death of China Long at 89th in Dogwood. Long was found shot and killed Sunday morning. On Thursday, her family told 12 News they think she may have been targeted. They left my baby there like trash. You think someone killed her because she's trans? I believe it has something to do with that. According to the criminal complaint, surveillance video captured Curran's vehicle leaving the area after the shooting. When police pulled over Kern and his vehicle on Tuesday, October 10th, investigators said they found bullet casings near the windshield wipers that matched casings found at the scene of the homicide. When questioned by police, Kern claimed that he had been at work at the time of China's murder. However, police found even more evidence that pointed directly to him. A witness saw a man matching Kern's description at the scene of the murder around 747, the morning of October the 8th. This was just before other witnesses in the neighborhood say they heard multiple gunshots in the area. Video footage recovered from the scene of the crime revealed Kern's tan-colored Chevrolet Impala speeding away from the area. He told police that he had been at work from 7 a.m. to 3 o'clock p.m. on the day of the murder. However, police discovered that he actually clocked into his work site at 7.52 that morning, disproving his alibi. Kern was charged with first-degree reckless homicide and possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. Kern was convicted in 2013 for a felony charge of fleeing law enforcement, and because of this, he was legally forbidden from owning a gun. A judge set his cash bail at $150,000. Police have yet to identify the motive in the alleged shooting, nor have they made a connection between the victim and Kern. While police have yet to rule this a hate crime, China's aunt, April Gibson, told the vigil attendees that they believe her killing may have been a transphobic hate crime because the entire family had been harassed for years over China's trans identity. And we talked so much. And maybe three months ago, she called my mom. I'm, I'm sharing some stuff with y'all. I, I haven't really shared with anybody. A lot of my family like, why is you putting all that out there? But she called. She fell asleep on the bus. You don't gotta say this, man. I'm gonna say it. She fell asleep on the bus and she woke up thinking that the bus was um, leaking or something and it was two guys urinating on her. And I was so heartbroken, mad, and pissed off. I'm getting pissed off thinking about it. And because it, it wasn't nothing I can do. She all the way in Chicago. Thank you. But as so many members of the trans community know all too well, you can be out and about, just living your life and someone will feel they have the right to invade your space, spew their hate, physically attack you, or even worse, end your life. Transphobia is something that affects us all, such was the case in a recent story we covered where Michelle Dion Peacock of Indiana was viciously murdered after being mistaken as being trans. Today is that day, y'all. Way to the house, the rest of my family. So my young.
I'm going to sign them up. Other than two signs. Pray for us today. Please keep China's family, friends, and the city of Milwaukee in your prayers. The world is becoming more and more crazy with every rising of the sun. Please be respectful in the comments, and as always, thank you for your support. Rest in paradise, China Long.